Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drama 1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, guys, I'm back again. You know my motto. I don't make believe. I make believers. I'm your gracious host. Drama 1980. Hailing from the Carolina, South Carolina. Columbia, to be exact, the capital city. I hope you're having a good day today. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why you're not having a good day. And remember this vital piece of information. Happiness is an inside job. Did you catch it? I say happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. Well, guys, we're back today again with another reaction from some foolishness, some egregious behavior. If you will, I have two clips for you and I'm not going to even explain. I'm going to just play. I'm going to call you to the screen, guys. Get your popcorn. Let's go. Wait, so niggas will flirt with you at the grocery store, but not offer to pay for your groceries? Get the fuck out of my face. I beg your fucking pardon. What the fuck you think this is? I'm, I'm over here shopping for things and you're flirting with me while I'm shopping for things, but not offering to pay for the things that I'm shopping for while you're trying to flirt with me are you stupid like the only way to win right now is to pay for the groceries if not move move the fuck around move around because you're definitely not moving on up thank you what do anybody have to say fellas would you pay for her groceries if you flirting with her i'm just asking a question don't jump all over me would you pay for her groceries if you just met her in Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or Publix or Food Lion or just what have you? Would you go ahead and pay for her groceries simply because you flirting with them? Is this not a fool in every essence of the word? Is that not foolish? So, fellas, let me put this in context for y'all. So, I'm in the grocery store looking for a carton of eggs. So I see this woman and I say, well, you know what? I'm going to just speak to this woman. So I go up to her. I speak to her. ask her how she doing or what have you. You know, just make small talk with her. And it's obvious that I'm flirting with her. So from that point, moving forward, I have to go into my pocket and I have to spend some money on her. And the only way that I'm going to win, according to her, is that I'm going to have to spend some money on her. You see why they losing? And listen at the way she talk. Listen at the language she used. Does that scream wifey material or long term to you? I'm just asking. Don't be jumping on me because I know the ladies go get mad. Swearing every word. It's something about a woman that use profanity. It's something just about that don't sit well with my spirit. I, I'm telling y'all, I never liked that woman. Even in my drunken, drugged out heydays. If I got around a woman and she's swearing and cursing every three or four words, I've seen it. That just don't do it for me. I might sleep with her. I'm talking about way, way back. I might sleep with her, but as far as spending time with her and picturing myself with a house and a picket fence and 2.5 children, no, absolutely not. It's something about that. That's not ladylike whatsoever to me. That's not ladylike. Now, I'm going to say something after this clip. I'm going to call you to, to the screen, guys. Let's go. Are you, are you going to pay for these groceries a week? I don't have enough money. I don't have enough. Put it back. I have to feed my one yo. And you telling me, so you can date me, but you can't pay for this stuff. That's what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? See, that's how these guys do, baby. They take you out on dates and don't want to pay for your stuff. And then he know I got a one yo, a baby. You don't even want to buy my baby clothes. That's how guys do nowadays. They just date you. $472. Okay, are you going to be paying today? 
How are you paying? Yeah, yeah, this how it is. Guys be wearing the hottest shoes. Thank you. Two and three hundred dollar worth of shoes and don't even want to pay for the stuff I had to pay for, yeah, because I've been dating this guy for 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 about maybe two to three days. And baby, this this how they do. But I just went ahead. I'm a, I'm a, I'm probably gonna break up with him though, baby, because I ain't got time. Look at him. He could spend two to three hundred dollars on some Nike, but he wanna hit me pay for my baby stuff, so you know what? I don't have time. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut him off. As soon as we get out here, I ain't gonna sh cut no show in Walmart. Matter of fact, you don't even have to push the basket. I can push the basket. I don't need you to push the basket no more. What is wrong with these women? We have descended into chaos, pandemonium. The entitlement is just unmatched at this point. It has surpassed the level that I thought that could not pass. It's unmatched at this point. It gets worse and worse as the day go by. Family, let me put this in context for y'all now. Because I want you to see the light. So I'm going to paint a vivid picture. I'm Picasso at this moment, all right? So I meet this woman and we've been dating for two or three days. According to her submission, two or three days. We go into Walmart. Immediately, she put expectations on me already in two or three days. She didn't ask politely or, you know, just kind of did a temperature check with the guy. What she did is cut on her phone and put him on social media. To what? To embarrass him. To try to shame him into buying her things from Walmart. She gets to the cash register. She have a phone out recording. She's talking to the cashier, talking about, how men don't want to pay for her kids uh, uh, clothes or shoes or just what have you and complain that he have on two or three hundred dollars shoes and not wanting to help her with her one year old according to her not me her bill was over four hundred dollars I believe it was four hundred and seventy two dollars if I'm not mistaken four hundred and seventy two dollars and she wanting to help to pay for it or to chip in just met him two or three days ago that tells me one or two things. She done gave up the cooch. See, y'all didn't even look at it from that angle. See, she done gave up the cooch. So now she put expectations on the guy because she feel like if you sleeping with me, you gonna have to pay. You gonna have to help me with these bills. Now somebody put it in the conversation and tell me that I'm lying. That's all that this is, the classic case. Women think that their coochie is magical, which it is magical. God knows it's magical. It got... Uh, uh, unicorns and pixie dust and fairy dust and all kind of stuff around it. Yes, yes, it's magical. But it's not the end all be all. She slept with this guy and now she expect him to pay some bills and buy clothes for her children and all that. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. One of them say buy her groceries if you're flirting with her. This one here say buy clothes and shoes and food for her one year old. Help me pay this bill. In both cases, one case, you just met this woman flirting with her. Buy my groceries. The other case, we've been dating for two or three days. Help me pay some of these bills. See, dating is a euphemism for we slept together. That's all. That's all that is. In both cases, I don't agree with neither one of them. In both cases, I don't agree with now one. Now, you heard me. You know now, nigga, huh? Then do the things I now, nigga. I don't agree with now one of them. Now one. Nope. If we've been talking for two or three days, we still in the beginning stages. You shouldn't be entitled to my bank account or my checkbook or my credit cards, my debit cards or my stocks and bonds, whatever I have. You're not entitled to that. If I'm in a grocery store and I'm flirting with you, you shouldn't be entitled for me to pay for no cake mix, nigga. I ain't buying nothing. No, I ain't buying nothing. Because how it starts, that's how you continue, right? That's what y'all always say. Don't start it in the beginning if you can't what? Continue it. Infinitely, right? So, I'm not going to even start that. I know you don't like that, but this too shall pass. Guys, be aware. Let this here serve as the canary in the coal mine. Let this serve as a cautionary tale. 
Don't you get your foot stuck in mud because it gets nasty at this point. Now think about this. If you just met this woman running out the gate and she's acting like this, what you think gonna happen later on? Things don't get better, guys. Things intensify. You start learning the ins and outs of that person, that individual. Some things that you're not going to like, but some things you just have to live with. Some things might be deal breakers, but you are really getting to know the inner workings of that person after that. And if she acting like this now, you know what she's going to do later. Guys, help me to understand something. Out of all women on the planet, how is it that you always choose these type of women? How is it these type of women always have your baby? I wait. How is it that these type of women keep having kids and you always complain about them, right? You always complain about it. she ain't doing that. She be fussing all the time. She overweight. Her mouth just run all the time. She kind of said it. She belittled me. Well, why are you with her then if she does all that? And you see what she did? If a woman do me like that one time, one time, I don't care how good a sex is. Do you understand? Because I can get sex from anyway. Anyway, that might be y'all problem. Y'all might can't get nothing else. But a woman put me on social media, try to embarrass me, or either she ain't even got to do that. She can lie and talk me in public. We ain't having that. Nah, I would have walked off in there. If I rolled with her, which and I'm not, I'm not. I would have just called an Uber to come and get me. Simple as that. And I'm not picking up no phone. We ain't trying to hash things out because after all, like she said, it had only been two or three days. So we don't have no connection. I don't have no connection with you. And you acting a fool like this, guys. I'm going to start blaming y'all. No, it's y'all fault at this point. I, I, I'm because you see how these women are. You see it firsthand, a bird's eye view. With the advent of social media, you see it plastered across the internet. You see how women think. You see how women operate. You see a certain caliber of woman. Red flags should be going off everywhere. Skull and crossbones everywhere. Danger, danger, danger. Warning signs. But no, what do you do? You wanna go play in it. Well, go play in it, but pay as well. 18 years, 21 years. Busting your windows out your car, scratched out, no peace, all that. Breaking your phone, going through your phone, embarrassing you on social media, embarrassing you in public. Go ahead and have at it. Come one, come on, step right on up. Go ahead, have at it. You the fool. Guys, tell me what y'all think talking about that. I met you in the grocery store. The only way you gonna win is you have to pay. Well, I guess I won't never win. I guess I'm a loser. I'm saying it right now, guys. Listen at me. Drummer 1980 is a loser. Because I will never win. I'm a loser, guys. And with that being said, until next time, peace. And remember, there is both.